Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. And today's harvest day, partial harvest day. The buyers bring in 85 boxes. That's close to three tons. So that's what's going to be harvested today. It's lunchtime, so the guys are uh, eating lunch. Gabriel's good at eating rice. He's world class. So is Blackie. We're waiting on the buyer to bring the ice. Supposedly it's coming from Itafi. It should have been here a couple hours ago, but it's not. So we're waiting. I think this is the highest tide I've ever been out here in. We've only got like maybe three feet until the fish are jumping out of the pen. It's quite a different perspective because it's actually it's actually a downhill plank walk rather than an uphill one right now. There's a lot of water in this bay at the moment. Gabriel has fitted the net with our flotation devices. You can see I drink a lot of Coke Zero. Those are the floats for the harvest net. Around the corner here are the weights. We're going to use the bolt at the bottom. So, we're going to finish up lunch and we're waiting for the ice to show up someday. All right, now we're doing the... <laughs> it's always something to watch these guys take that net onto the... <laughs> Man, that is really bending that. That's like two or three foreigners walking on it. <laughs> It's a little bit windy today. And the waves are kind of high. So I'm not going to make harvesting easy. And they're attaching these stones to the bottom of the net. Hold it down. I had designed some cement weights for Tatai to build, but I forgot to, I forgot, I lost a day somehow, 
I had thought yesterday I had thought that it was Thursday and not Friday and I had forgotten to tell Tate to make them. I was just going to make a maybe wrist, wrist sized uh, maybe four or five inch long pieces of weight out of cement with a with two bent nails to make like hooks that you could string rope through and just tie those along the bottom of the net and of course I forgot so now they're having to use these rocks inside plastic bags which I guess will work good enough next time Well, I can hear they fired up the generator. The ice supposedly is on its way. And I instructed the guys to not waste any more time and begin the harvest. I'm not going to wait for the ice here to get here to begin. Because this always takes longer than anybody thinks. It's already 2.30 in the afternoon. In my mind, they're about five hours behind. Yeah, it's like salmon jumping. I'm free!
What do you think, Tate? How much? Three tons? Uh, that's how many boxes they brought, was three tons worth. I don't know how many is in that net. Hard to tell until they get it out of the water. So you just gonna hold it there until the ice comes? Transfer? Alright. When they get tired? Yeah, well, they're lowering that little section of net down, dragging the harvest net through. How many tons, Tatai? <laughs> More than one ton. Where's the ice? It's in the bay, sir. Wait in the bay. They're waiting in the bay? Yeah. Why, what are they waiting for? Uh, maybe pambot. They'll bring pambot. So put this along now. No? What, they don't have their own boat this time? No, no. And the boxes? Well, it looks like they're trying to sink the Prince William. Pretty rough seas to be going down, going around in a small overloaded boat. <coughs> I'm not real happy with this <coughs> uh, very recent turn of events. <coughs> it seems that we are are now being required to 
provide our own boats to not only bring uh, the ice here, but to transport the fish back to the pier. So if we can negotiate some kind of a little bit better price than what we've been offered, this is going to be the last time we utilize this particular seller, or this particular buyer. We've had them in the harvest net for about an hour now. So the way that it's done is that you bring them over to what they call a kill box. That's got ice in it. And uh, it shocks them and kills them fairly quickly. Right, Jen? Well, the box is definitely filling up, and we're about to sink. <laughs> How many more fish, Gabriel? How many more? Five hundred kilos or five hundred fish? Huh? We're about we're about to sink. Maybe enough. Uh, maybe yes, maybe no. I'm not worried. I'm, I'm not worried about filling up the box. I'm worried about sinking the platform. Yeah. I think it's time to start putting them in boxes. Okay, 
Bila aku balik ke sini, bila aku balik ke sini, bila aku balik ke sini, bila Definitely need more barrels under that side of the uh, platform here. I'm thinking at least five more barrels along this, this here. And I was noticing when we got the, the full 150 sacks of feed inside the caretaker's house that this whole thing was sagging. So we need to put about 20 additional barrels. Uh, with it underneath this for more buoyancy and at least five of them right there for that kill box is. Alright, here comes the boss lady full of ice and boxy. Not nearly as... Oh, come on guys, don't ram the... We had a different operator on the Prince William before and they ran into the dock there. You see the broken piece of bamboo there. They didn't know how to kill the engine, so it was like that scene in Jurassic Park where the the ship is coming into the dock and it's not slowing down. Because the dinosaurs have killed everyone. All right, well, they're starting the way out. It's going to be a bustle of activity here very shortly. Gabriel's neighbor wants, I don't know, 50... 50 something kilos and his parents-in-law 30 or 40 kilos something like that we're getting close to retail price for them so uh, we're gonna sell them to them Enough. With it moving like this, it's never, it's not going to be, a, it's not going to be steady. Move one piece. Maybe two pieces.
Well, we haven't sunk yet. What are you thinking, Jen? <laughs> and you wanted to move to Canada, huh? No way. <laughs> All right, we're going to move some of these boxes off. We're going to transfer them on to the boss lady and take them to the port uh, before we sink. Definitely, definitely need more barrels under this platform. As you can see, Jen is ankle deep. Swimming soon. <laughs> All right, Gable, go get Marcel. Let's go. Where is the one basket you guys need to move to the back of the boat Definitely have the boss lady loaded. We've got 25 boxes of fish and ice. Yeah, I think the additional pontoons on each side are going to be the first order of business. Well, I know everyone is used to, accustomed to seeing Tatai working. But look at Tatai right now, huh? <laughs> What do you have to say, Tatai, huh? You're, you're, you're falling out? Tatai's done. Must be nice. I can't fit in that hammock, so if I could, I would be in it. 
All right, well, we're bringing in the second net full. This is obviously going to be a two-day harvest. It's too many. Huh? It's too many. I'm guessing there was about 10 tons in there. Mm, 10 tons? Sun's got about an hour and a half, I think. I'm guessing it's about 5 p.m. So I guess we'll get this finished. I brought the fully charged battery out here. What what nationality are you, sir? American. American. Yeah. Mm. I'm from California. California. Here's the boss lady coming back with more boxes and more ice, I would assume. Got it plenty loaded up again. Normally the cool. <laughs> yeah, here we go with the old uh, Jurassic Park boat heading into the pier thing again. It's not not real good brakes on a boat. <laughs> all right, getting all set up for round two. And 30, Thirty-two boxes so far. So we're almost halfway there. We've got another net full of fish. So we'll see. More, more fish this time, Gabriel? More than before? More than before. I rigged this up a light. I brought out the battery today. But we can't see it. That spare battery, the auxiliary charging system that I put on the white van. There's the battery there. So I knew we'd need it out here. So I brought this fully charged battery. Hooked it up to this 12 volt light. And now the, because we're running so late today, now they'll have light to work in. Sometimes the foreigner thinks. Marcel came out for a little while. Uh, she wanted to to meet this lady and uh, chat her up a little bit. And we're going to both head home. Uh, Jen's going to stay here. The lovely Jen is going to stay here and watch the scale, yeah? Because I'm tired from going home. I've got other things to do. Uh, like edit and upload videos.
Good. <laughs> like we're getting ready to sink again over there. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.